Good morning. So, uh, carrying on with uh, Snippet Pixie next um, development this morning. So, I think the last time we left off, we were building the CLI's export snippets feature. Um, and we just got to the point where we had the export flag built and working. Um, so that's all done in here. Uh, it's just as it's a default flag. Uh, it's just like a dash dash instead of being a sub command. Um, so we've got the actual command being, sorry, the flag being passed. And we have um, what's that? I'm confused. Where are we? Yeah, it's the full one. Yeah. Um, and then we have the command being built as an export. Uh, and what we need, and uh, we've got some tests, so let's just make sure they work. Again. Uh, so where are we? Five. Wrong thing. Not awake yet. All right, so make test. That works. Good. Okay, so that's just tested that these flags can be passed and they end up creating an export command with the expected uh, file name. Uh, this is where it's going to get interesting, I think, is because at the moment I've got it set up so that we've got two forms of a file name. Um, here I'm passing a full-on absolute pass name, so that's the working directory from the root. Um, and then I've got snippets with a date format .json. Um, and then the other form is that I'm just passing in basically a relative file name. Uh, so there's two forms of file name there, and I haven't done anything at the moment. Um, to expand that. So I'm not sure whether I'll end up doing that in the CLI before passing it off to the, well, it's not going off to the daemon, right. I'm not sure whether I should do that before calling this new export function I need to create, um, or whether the export function can work out whether it should expand. Um, the file to its absolute or what so but anyway that's where we are um so we've got got to the point where we need to do something with these flags and now i've got to remember where i do that so it's been a while so we've got the flag being passed Creating it there. That's in the config. And then in the main, I need to actually do something with it. So, I've got lots of to do's there for the get the list. I have to sort that out. So, this is the export. Let's do. Um, where should we, what priority should we have it? I think Maybe quite a high priority because it's a safe thing to do. It's non destructive. So we'll have it. It does have side effects, whereas these don't. So let's put it here. So it's after status. Yeah. So what we're going to need to do is we're going to need to do, have I got a, no, I haven't got any tests for that. Let's do case 
export. And then we're going to have to have some sort of function. Um, I don't even know where that comes from. I'm beeping. <laughs> mm. Right, let's do what we're going to do. We're going to do, I guess, something like this. If it's not a service, it's going to be a local function that calls a service. Or is it? This is the decision to be made. Do I make it so that the daemon does the export to the given place? Or do we get the snippets and then drop them where we've picked locally? Well, it's all going to be kind of packaged, isn't it? So we've got this export internal package. And at the moment, we have just two functions, one for creating JSON and one for creating the legacy version, which is snippet pixie one. There's a slight difference. So maybe we just have a, an export function in here. And we pass in the snippets. And the file name, or the file name and the snippets. Yeah. So. So actually, let's let's do this properly. Then what we'll do is we will do the export. We'll do a test. All right. Well, that's named wrong. So that is going to be called test export. No, let's just call that. This is in the export package, so we can just call it what we like. Test JSON. That'll do. And we will now steal everything down from here. In fact, <laughs> in fact, we're going to want a good chunk of this, if not all. But we want, we're just going to do this format, I think. So we could do both. Hmm. Might regret doing this legacy thing. Okay. Test. Export. And in this case, so we're going to build those snippets again. So we're going to pretend. Oh, no, we don't want to do that.
Mm. I was just thinking what I really want is Well, so at the moment we only have in the existing version of Snippet Pixie, you can export all your snippets, that's it. Do we want to do an export of a subset? We might do in the future. But I don't think we need to now. And that's relatively easy to kind of refactor to say, okay, now call the export with this different setup. Mm. Okay, I think what we'll do. In the snippets for the manager, we do have so that's on the daemon side though. I am going to have to local snippets. I'm going to need that. Mm. <coughs> what I'm struggling with in my mind here is how to mimic having a function, which is like, just export to this file name, please. Um, And it, it needs to, in theory, well, the actual function needs to call the service, get the snippets, and then write them out. But when we're testing a package, an internal package, where we don't have a dbus server running and so on, We don't have a service to call. And I want this to be a very small test, which doesn't need um, a service to be run. So normally we'd do like a mock or something, but Not sure that's the answer here. I don't even know how you do mocks in Go. Um, not easily, anyway. 
Okay, uh, decisions, decisions. So do I need to do... something like that. Okay, here's the thing. We have and the daemon. We do have tests for doing get snippets. In the CLI, we don't have any tests against call-ins service. We just have the service definition. I mean, they're super simple. And we're basically calling that, getting some results, doing an export. Maybe I'm overthinking things here. Maybe I should just do the bare minimum here and then then I can expand upon that if I have problems with the service. Yeah, okay. All right, so let's just carry on with this. So we've got Two snippets created here, one for SP backtick, one for SPU. Um, they're both using now as the timestamp. Um, I might change that later. So we've created this slice. Um, and now we need to have a function called think um, and in that we need to pass a file name and snippets and I think we'll leave it as always being a nice format indented because that's the most useful Although we could have an option. And we could have conversion as well.
let's do that. So we're going to have something like that. And then here, we're going to have similar, but version 2. And then we need to have a test for the file contents. So, is there a way of creating a temp file with the testing package? I bet there is. Tim Dyer. Okay. So I can use the directory there. I'll just create a file in it. Mind you, what's the current working directory when you're running a test? Is that temporary? Um, let's do a quick check on that. Get WD, no. Oh, doesn't matter about that, does it? So, no WD uh, work. That's framework direct. Are we? So the same thing. Okay, right. Time to experiment, I think. Let's do this. So what we'll do is Grass snippets. Let's create a file name. Our name 
is going to be Just want to see what happens. Ugh. Um, if uh, no, don't need to do that. I'm in a test, so I can do is no. Uh, Here I can do um, actually let's grab that. So the file name we're going to have as if passed in from config. With a full absolute path name. And then I think the only thing we'll return is yay or nay. And then we're going to have to start testing the actual output of the file. So we'll have to read it, I guess. Um, Is there an easy reader for... Is there a way to test a file? Mm -hmm. Oh, good. Okay. Um, About okay, let's just go into OS and look at that. So 
So we can Hmm. We could do We could return the file from the export function. Or we could pass one in. But if we did return the file as an OS.file, we can then test it. That would be handy. Because then we could just read it back, presumably. We just do that. Why is that actually? Read up to length bytes from the file, returns the number of bytes read and any error at the end of the file returns zero. Great, but what does that mean? Okay, that might be ha handy for testing. Well, at least I can maybe output something. Is the right so see I could swear there was a right file. as a function. It doesn't return 
See, this is what I need because I want permissions. I need to set it as just a plain file. And why is that relative? A read file as well, okay. Six will call returns eggs and they're not eggs, yeah, because the read file reads the whole file. It does not treat an EOF from read as an error to be reported, okay. So I'd have a slice of bytes. Which is handy because I can I can unmarshal that. Okay. Let's do this then. What we'll do is we will just assume it's worked, and then we can just grab the file name again. So. We should be able to get the contents, and that was within an hour, yeah. Um, so that was OS dot read file to the file name. Okay, yeah. I'm going to do that. So, in theory, we'll have a slice. We need to check we don't have an error there. All right, so that's commit that. Let's export. Really wrong. File one, um, and then we need to test the contents. So well, out. That's also a slice of bytes. So in theory, contents are way what I need. Um, so we just change out to be contents. Uh, 
and we should be good. Uh, so then we also need to do the same again. Down here. But for version. That's got a slightly different format. I get data with an object in it rather than data with an array of objects. So, yeah. Okay. So we're going to create a file name. Uh, we have some snippets. We're going to call this export, which we haven't written yet, which is then taken whether it's going to be indented and the version. Oh, and that needs to be version 201 there. Okay, we'll try that. Uh, so we need to write an export function. That signature. export it's going to take our name as a string snippets will be a slice of um, snippet Snippet dot snippet. It's going to take a boolean, which is indented. And version, I guess. Unless I do version specific, nah, version as an int. Okay. And it's going to return an error, we said. That's it. Whether it works or not. Is all we're going to reply with. So we basically need to call these now. That's a pain in the butt, actually. Hmm. So we're going to have switch on version and so case. 101, we're going to call contents or error. It's going to be J. 
updates so 101 let's send the snippets and indented and then the default is going to be whatever the current export format is which is that Uh, if error is not equal to new turn error let's do this properly on the error bit here um, is an error and contents it is a slice of bytes okay at the end you'll turn it here so in theory we've just created the contents in memory um, okay I guess it's because it's not read it's only written to at the moment um, so now we need to write it out to file, I guess. Is it that easy? What was the uh, signature of that? An error. Okay. So we're going to get an error back. I'm going to call OS dot write file file name contents with the permissions zero. Well, you want it read write group read write and other none yeah yeah and that's it whatever that error is is what we want to return whether it's nil or not we've passed in the file name We've created the contents and checked that that was done okay. We've passed in snippets. If we pass in no snippets, is that going to be an issue? Test that later, I guess. I take it I can't do. Do you know what? I've never tried doing something like, can we do that? No. It's a shame. Just 
go not have defaults? Can you override defaults and go? Go lang default function parameter. Hmm. I guess not, by looks of things. Hmm, I could do an options. Yeah, and I could do a struct. Because I don't really want people needing to pass in like 201 as the version. You kind of just want to export file name snippets. This, let's just do a version of this. So what we'll do this is this is going to be the main one export dented version We'll just do export, which is going to be the default, and you just get your only pass in this. And it's just going to call whatever the current thing is. So it's just going to return. Explore indented version with the file name, snippets, um, and at the present it's going to be true and 201. And I'll take that, I'll stick that up here, I think. So this does an export. Snippets to file. Using Right. Okay. Right. 
chest of armor. And this is going to be export indented version. Exports, snippets, to file with specified with or without indent and using specified version and all we're going to do here is we're just going to default to the current version unless you get it right with the 101. I'm not going to muck about with errors here. Um, so yes, I know. Good point. So maybe maybe this should be too far then. That should just be right file. Because then we can do a read file. I'm not sure you might want to do that as an import. So write Indented version file and write indented version file okay write indented version I export snippets too far with or without indent and use in specified version, write file, exports snippets to file using the latest format. Okay, now I need to update the tests. Here we're just doing write file. Oh no, we're not doing write. Indented version file. And here we're just going to do write file to get the latest format. And we already have contents there.
And we can do a couple of tests here, can't we? So what we can do is, so we're reading the file there, but I believe there is, um, so it is true, JSON valid contents. JSON. So we can do that. Could do that again there. So we'll just do some space there. It makes it easier to read what we're doing. Okay, let's see if that does anything. Uh, I've only got a few minutes really and I should start my day. That work. Okay, so test export. Actually, let's change that to test write file. So we're constructing a file name, got a couple of snippets right into legacy version, testing the contents, and then we're doing a write to the current export version, testing the contents, should in theory be good. What's going to happen with the file, I don't know. Am I going to get a mess of files every time I run this? Oh, okay. I don't like it when it passes straight away. <laughs> um, let's break it. Let's do... Um, let's say that's an X now. still passes so that's a problem so the test isn't working oh I'm in the wrong thing that's why right, internal export test okay not true blah 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 x snippet okay uh, so let's put that back to what it should be that does pass okay um how do i know where that file is and yeah see that's not what i want i don't want it dumping out snippets although it's handy there smart so it does look good yeah happy with that that's good format so that's nice but don't really want it tests dumping out there so let's remove that and we'll do um, testing oh we've got a T haven't we was it? I 
I don't, I can't remember what the uh, temp tire was. Well, maybe it was um. I might be was T. Just passes a string. Okay, that's great. Can't test that. Do a quick print of that. Um, Okay. Well, I was correct to put the extra thing there then. That's good. And presumably there is that does actually get cleaned up. Yep. Okay, smart. Right, so we do actually now have a function um, that works in theory for export. So in the main, should. Should be able to do let's take that this is going to be export we're going to call get snippets with an empty string should get some snippets back and then we should be able to do um, uh, equals um, export dot write file um, Args zero, wasn't it? Snippets That might be it. Okay. 
the test pass. Let's run the daemon. Let's see, um, let's go into the command. I might do snippet list. Okay, we've got two snippets. Uh, so we should now be able to do snippet export without a file name, and it should dump out to the current working directory. Let's make sure we haven't got a thing at the moment. There's no snippets found there, so we should be able to do snippets export. Did that return any problems? No. We have snippets. In the correct format. Okay, and if we do export equals Drupal. Jason, what do we get? Yay, okay, that's good. Same again. Diff ripple with snippets. Same thing. Good stuff. <sighs> Start up Jason. Get rid of them. We're done. We have an export function. Oh, and if we do Alright, what happens if we do this? I want to test that. Yeah, okay, we need to be careful there. Okay. Um that's something I need to fix up later. I need to do a whole round of command line testing and so on. Alright, uh so I think we have succeeded in creating an export function on the CLI. Simple, but does the job. And we have a few extra bits and bobs there that we can hook into later if we want to start doing things like export to this version um, and with or without indents. So they could be arguments that we change up here. Um, but yeah, and um, we could also have different subset of snippets been passed in at some point. Maybe the CLI just doesn't do that. Maybe that's like a GUI thing. Um, okay, let's commit that. I'm just going to do a quick diff. So we've got this is in the config. So we set up the flag for export and then make sure that we build the command for it. And then in config test, we're checking that works. And then in export, we're doing the right file, right export snippets to file using the latest format and right indented version, file version, right indented version file. Mm. Export snippets to file with or without indent and using the specified version. seems to work. Well, I haven't tested that though. Well, I have, because we've got a test for it now. Okay, so we've got test JSON, test write file, and there we are testing the 
right indented version file and the export. And then in the main, we're now using the internal export. We may do an export, we get all the snippets and then write them out to the file. Done. Okay. So we have, uh, so in this change set, we have um, added an export option to the CLI. Okay. That was good. It was good to get that feature finished. So uh, next time, I guess we're going to have to start tackling import, which will be interesting. Um, not sure when I'll be doing that. Uh, as I'm just about to start my Christmas holidays and my schedule's going to be messed up and I probably won't be doing these things first thing in the morning anymore. Um, but we'll see. Um, I do have one more day. Um, but yeah. um, anyway, uh, thanks for watching. Uh, until next time, you take care.